Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you a psychological thriller film from 2022, titled Deep Water. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film begins with a husband and wife, Vic and Melinda, are getting ready for a party. Melinda tells Vic that she loves him when he puts on her shoe. They have a daughter named Trixie. At the party, Melinda runs across an old friend named Joel. Vic observes them from afar with a worried expression on his face. Melinda then takes Joel outside. Vic looks out a window and finds his wife kissing Joel. Surprisingly, he does not seem surprised and simply stares at her. One of Nick's friends approaches him, concerned, and tells it seems like his wife is having an affair. But Nick replies Joel and Melinda are just friends. Later, when Vic walks to the bar for a drink, Joel shows up and praises him for their hospitality, as well as for being a brick while flirting with his wife. Vic then inquiries about a man named Martin McRae with Joel. Joel answers, yes, the guy who has gone missing. Vic admits that he killed Martin because he saw a lot of his wife. When Joel hears this, he becomes terrified. Joel decides to leave the party after feeling intimidated. When they get home, Vic massages his wife in inquiries about Joel. Melinda says that Joel might be dumb but he can turn her on. Vic is then asked to leave and close the door. It's revealed that they both sleep in the different rooms. After leaving, Vic goes to his snail lab, where he spends the most of his private time. The next day, Vic drops off Trixie at school. Vic's story about Martin McRae has reached one of the student's parents. He notices that his joke has gone viral. When he meets up with his friends, Tom and Miles, for lunch, they express their concern about Melinda's behavior and encourage Vic to rein her in so he doesn't look like a sissy. Later at their house, Melinda knows about what Vic told to Joel at the party. So, she has invited Joel for dinner, and he must apologize to Joel. Later when they are having dinner, Melinda flirts with Joel in front of Vic. She even criticizes her husband's cook. Melinda eventually uses Trixie to get Vic off the table so she can spend some time alone with Joel. Vic sees the drunk Melinda make out with Joel. Melinda notices him and tells him to give Joel a drink, before leaving to go upstairs. Joel asks him to apologize for the Martin McRae joke. Vic informs him that he has nothing to apologize because he used a hammer to indeed kill Martin. Then he makes him leave. Days later, at a party, Vic meets a screenplay writer named Don. Don's wife named Kelly joins them. Melinda informs the couple that Vic is retired from making chips for military drones. Vic is instantly chastised by Don because he thinks the chip that Vic made is used to kill people. Miles silences Don by stating that Vic is a genius and extremely rich. Then, Don brings up the rumors about Martin McRae and judges him, stating it's nothing to joke about. As the party continues, Vic dances with Kelly. Melinda just watches, feels jealous, and she hides it with her chuckle. On their way home, Melinda confronts Vic about Kelly by asking him, do you want to sleep with her? Vic attempts to keep his calm. Melinda reminds him that he belongs to her by sucks his wiener. As soon as they arrive, they have a passionate making love in bed. The next day, when they are watching Trixie play soccer, Vic gets a call from the bank concerning Melinda's bounce check. Vic discovers that his wife attempted to send $3,000 to a man named Charles for piano lessons. Vic eventually tracks down Charles in a nearby lounge. Melinda is attending Charles's performance while Vic drinks at the lounge without knowing that her husband is there. Vic does nothing except stare at her. When he returns home, he discovers his wife's ring in the sink, which indicates that his wife does not want Charles to know she is married. Moments later, Melinda comes home drunk. She tells Vic that she just had awesome dinner with a new friend. Vic then tells Melinda what he saw in the news about Martin McRae who found dead. Vic sees Charles walking and carrying flowers on their way home with Trixie, and the flowers end up on their table, which he tosses in the trash. As their unhealthy marriage continues, Vic spends time in the snail lab while Melinda makes love with Charles in a car. One day, Vic confronts Melinda after had enough. Melinda aggravates the situation by informing him about her wild adventure with Charles, which resulted in some marks on her body. Vic wants her to stop seeing Charles and live like a normal family. She refuses and walks away. Melinda introduces Charles to everyone, including Vic, during yet another party. Vic later observes his wife playing with Charles later that night. 
When everyone gets out from the pool because of raining, Vic drowns Charles in the pool. Chad moves like they're Vic. When Melinda finds Charles's body floating in the water, she screams. Later, the police arrive to investigate. Melinda doesn't hesitate saying that Vic killed Charles. Vic's friends, on the other hand, do not accept it and believe Melinda is shocked. One night, Vic inquires for a divorce, but Melinda appears to be against it. He then inquired as to why she isn't terrified of him, despite the fact that she believes he murdered Charles. Melinda claims she isn't afraid because she's the reason he kills. Vic takes Don to his snail's lab. He requests that Don stop spreading rumor that he killed Charles. Don, on the other hand, challenges Vic to undergo a lie detector exam, which he agrees to. One day, Vic notices Melinda eating lunch with another man. He joins them and begins asking the man, who turns out to be a private investigator. He then goes straight to Don's house and shows him a bank record for a large transfer from Melinda to Don for hiring a private investigator. Again, Vic sees Melinda with another man named Tony. Melinda quickly invites Tony to their house. Melinda, as usual, does not hide her desire for Tony in front of Vic. Later, Melinda teases Tony about going to the attic with her. Nick just stares at her as they start making out. Stay away from woman like this kid. One day, Vic picks up Tony and tells him he's going to meet up with Melinda to look at a property they want to buy. When they arrive at the location, Vic tosses a stone, causing him to fall then breaking his neck. Vic then drags his body, put an amount of stone and abandons it in a river to drown. One day, they enjoy a picnic at the location where Tony's body is. Trixie enjoys playing along the river. Vic swiftly instructs her to return to her mother. Surprisingly, he notices Tony's body partially emerging from the water. At night, Vic asks Melinda if she has heard from Tony. She informs him that she hasn't heard from Tony in quite some time. Melinda then hugs her husband and requests that he sleep in her room. Vic finally receives a genuine love from Melinda. You know what happens next kid. Vic returns the next day to dispose Tony's body properly. Unfortunately for him, Don catches him in the act and drives away in his car. Vic chases him on his bike. Meanwhile, Melinda searches for Vic in his snail lab. She discovers Tony's wallet inside one of his terrariums. Don texts his wife to inform her of the situation. However, he drops his phone since he isn't very adept at multitasking. When he tries to reach her phone, he loses control of his car and falls off from a cliff. He dies instantly. Vic, who has escaped the situation, returns home on his bike. Melinda smiles as she waits for him at the stairs. He inquires as to what is wrong, but she answers nothing. She then claims to have seen Tony and goes inside the house. It turns out, Melinda burned Tony's wallet and chose to save his husband, whom she transformed into a psychopath. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.